Just imagine two months into the year and with a more resilient real estate market than many people expected coming out of the back half of last year. In this week's National Housing Market Update, we're going to cover exactly what we've been doing week over week over week so you can better understand exactly what is happening to make the right decision for you and your family if you're thinking of buying, selling, or investing. And today, we're going to dive right into what's a little unique about the experts' opinions on why home prices will most likely remain flat, even though we've started off with a very strong beginning of the year. Well, thanks for sticking around. And as we look at a very strong beginning of the year, the context in that language is based off of very strong compared to, well, gosh, a very dramatic back half of the year of a lot of response to the rise in mortgage rates. So as you look right here at the year over year home price change in median home list prices being 420,000 and the new listings being unchanged compared to last year at 399,000. What that really means is you can see that gap of the light line and the dark line, it's starting to decrease. And as you start looking at the rate at the end of this chart, you can see that the red line is not dramatically rising like we saw a lot last year or in previous years where there was a large amount of year-over-year -year home price appreciation. So again, as you start seeing that year-over-year -year change in price flatten out, there's many experts predicting for the same reason now that we will most likely see flat home prices year-over-year. -year. As we look at what has been continuing to help home prices is, well, that's based off of the lack of inventory. But as you look at the new listings now is unchanged from this time last year at 399,000, that is the leading indicator to show that normally with the release of new listings, you started to see the home values rise because of the lot of the demand. And as more homes came to the market, the rise in the home prices. Due to the fact that we're not seeing a lot of new listings and these new listings are showing that the pricing is more appropriate or closer to that of where the previous listings were, is we're not seeing a lot of change in price leading again to the expert's opinion that home price year over year will most likely remain flat this year. Now, as we start looking at the total inventory for homes, you can see that we dropped another one and a half percent this week. The challenge with that drop in one and a half percent is that yes, there are some markets like San Francisco where the home prices are lower than where they were two years ago. But as we continue to see the year over year price remain somewhat the same, what's really helping us have some type of, let's just call it floor, is this lack of inventory, meaning there's just not new homes coming in the market. So as we continue to see this decline, and most importantly, when you look at the active inventory in January of 2019, you can see there was 821,000 homes available or inventory, whereas we're only at 429,000 this week. As you look at the overall sales price will lag throughout the year, which is why a lot of experts are thinking and predicting that home prices will remain somewhat flat, is that the inventory, we should start to see it climb back up as we enter the spring and summer market. But what's very interesting is as this number continues to decline, that kind of provides a safety and floor for home prices because there's just not a lot of available inventory, which means that yes, there's opportunities for buyers. It's not necessarily multiple offers going so much over list price, but it's still multiple offers around that list price, which helps these homes continue to maintain their overall value. So until we start to see a dramatic change in inventory and knowing that that number was 48% less than 2019, it's just hard to imagine that we're going to see any large release of inventory that would have any impact on home prices or what some people like to say, a bubble bursting. Unfortunately, there just is no growth in that bubble due to the fact that there's not available inventory on the market. 
Now, the other part, as you can see here, we'll look at a couple key factors to better understand what's happening week over week in the market. But the new listings this week are 18% fewer than last year. So we're seeing about one out of every five people who are bringing this inventory to the market saying, I'm not participating. So there's less new listings coming to the market. And as the demand still remains somewhat steady, not strong, because as we've seen in the last couple of weeks, the mortgage rates rise, as we still saw enough demand to take these listings off the market. As you can see, that light line is actually new listings that were immediately sold or contracted and pended. And as you can see, this time last year, we had 73,000 new listings compared to the 60,000 that we have at the current moment. So as we continue to look at some of the indicators to the health of the market, though, this slide here, total single family homes pending contract with new contracts per week, you can see that that apocalyptic decline in the amount of homes that were going under contract or pending has definitely hit its floor. And week over week since December, we've started to see the buyer demand come back out. And due to the lack of inventory, these homes go under contract. Now, again, what's unique about this graph, and we'll continue to follow it each and every week, is this is somewhat the sign of where the interest level is based off our current inventory and that of the demand of the potential buyers. There are a lot of people that were questioning with the increase in interest rates back to the 7% area over the last couple of weeks, would that remove people from the market? But as you can see, See each week as we see more of these pending contracts, that's a direct sign that the buyer demand is still there based off the available inventory. So until we start to see that number decline again, it's only really showing strength in that of what's happening with the current market. Now, as we also start to look at though, the overall price decline in a lot of these homes, you can see the price reductions hitting a low for the year at 31.1%. But what's interesting about that graph, you can see in that dark red line, is that we are now experiencing most likely the floor of the percentage of properties that are requiring a price reduction. So previous years, that number started to fall below 30%. But as you can also see, now we are probably on our upward climb again of homes needing price reductions to sell. And the question is whether or not the inventory is coming each and every week into March. Many people would predict that through March, April, May, we'll see more inventory come to market and we will see more inventory remain on the market if the rates stay where they are. But remember, if the rates drop, which some experts are predicting is going to happen back in uh, or happen here around May or June, it's going to be very interesting to see what type of demand is out there. So right now, the good signs are that if you're selling a property, the available inventory is very limited and the demand is still there. So a good time to take advantage of the current market conditions as a seller, as well as though the opportunities as a buyer, as the demand is steady, but not extra strong. And as you start seeing potential new listings come to market, it could create a great opportunity for many of those who are looking to purchase in it. From me to you, we will always keep you updated each and every week. Surprising data as you start looking at week over week, continuing to see more pending homes taken off the market, inventory dropping, and as demands remains, somewhat steady that will continue to keep home prices flat maybe rise a little bit and in each and every market you know that that supply and demand is somewhat subject to your individual local market but as a nation looking good for home price remaining where they are as well as the overall demand as we continue to see what happens with mortgage rates